let's talk about the process of issuing an insurance policy. It starts out with you, the agent. You do a solicitation to a potential client and do a sales presentation explaining a product, and they agree to buy that product. So you sit down, help them complete the application, have them issue a premium check for you, and you get ready and you're going to send that into your home office. And while you're doing all that process, you could call yourself the field underwriter. That's really what you are. You are the eyes and ears of the insurance company when you're taking an application. You send all that paperwork into the home office, and it will go through the underwriting process. It'll be reviewed, and if the insurance company decides that it is a risk they're willing to take on, then they're going to determine the proper premium based on the application and the client's health and several other factors. Then the policy is issued and sent to you usually as the agent, and then you deliver it to the customer. Let's talk about the parts of an application. Part one are the general questions on an application. The part two section is always the section about your health history and medical questions. And the third piece of documentation is called the agent's report. You complete this, letting the underwriter know any pertinent information or observations that you have about the proposed insured. Then, part of that application is also a signature section. You always have to sign an application uh, as the agent, and the applicant or owner of the policy has to sign as well. You cannot make any changes on an application once those signatures are, are in place. That would not be the right thing to do. And you must make certain that everything is answered completely on an application. Because if you skip something, you send it in, the application will be returned and you'll have to get it answered. Uh, it just delays the whole process. Always make sure you review the paperwork for all signatures and all complete information. Let's talk about receipts. You have a receipt that you give a customer when they write a check and send it in along with the application. There is a section on the application itself. It's kind of a perforated section along the bottom of a page. And you actually fill in the amount of the check that you took from them and you give it to the client. Now, would you give that receipt to them if they didn't write a premium check when you took the app? No, you would only give that when they send the check with the application. Then you have a conditional receipt. A conditional receipt states that the coverage will be effective as long as certain conditions are met. One of the most common conditions that has to be met is you have to go through the physical and be healthy enough for the coverage to be written. Classification of risks. There's several. There's preferred, standard, substandard, or a full decline. Let's talk about each of those. A preferred has the lowest risk and the best premiums. Everybody wants to be preferred. Not everybody is, though. Then there's standard. Standard just means average exposure to various kinds of risk, and you're covered at a standard premium. Substandard means that you are a higher risk for the insurance company, so your premiums are going to reflect that. They're going to be higher. And sometimes people are just maybe so unhealthy that they are a decline. The insurance company does not think that they can charge enough premium to mitigate the risk that you represent. Policy delivery. You deliver a policy. When you deliver a policy with a premium, that becomes the effective date, the date of that premium. If you deliver a policy without a premium, you deliver the policy and then you have to have an additional form signed. It's called a statement of continued good health. Your client is going to answer questions on this brief form that says, I am still in good health, I haven't been diagnosed with any dire diseases or anything like that since I completed the application. And then that statement of good health, the premium check that they give you upon delivery of that contract, equals the effective date of the contract.